If you want to clone the contents of your existing hard drive to an SSD in an Optiplex 7010 small form factor, I find it's easier just to borrow the SATA connector from the DVD drive and use the spare SATA power connector that's coming off the back of the hard drive. You can see I'm just going to borrow that power connector and then use the SATA cable for the DVD drive. Then we can easily clone the hard drive onto the SSD. Once you've got the SSD connected to the machine and you've rebooted it, you can use Macrium Reflect to clone the existing hard drive on to the new SSD. Here you can see I'm just picking the SSD um, and then just pressing next a few times and it will clone the hard drive exactly as it is onto the SSD. I probably wouldn't recommend in this machine using the Samsung SSD that I used. It will work fine, it's just kind of an expensive high performance SSD for a machine that isn't really going to push it. Um, I would probably use one of the Western Digital Blue drives. Um, as you can see, it really doesn't take that very long, take very long to um, clone the drive. And we can see here it took about 20 minutes. Once that's done, just shut the machine down and connect the SSD in place of the hard drive. Okay, so once the drive is finished cloning, you can then replace the hard drive completely. Take the SSD off, pull this back to take the CD drive out, pull out the SATA power from the hard drive, pull out the SATA cable. Then there's this blue tab, which is normally in the locked position. That's currently unlocked. That's the locked position unlock it there and then it just lifts out. Then the hard drive you can just grab these two tabs and give it a pull and it will come out. Although this one seems to be stuck. Then the hard drive isn't actually screwed in. You can just unpeel it and it will come out. Get rid of that. The SSD is not really fit in here because it's too small. So you can use one of these, just these cheap brackets and fix it in that way. So I'll do that quickly. I should put a couple of screws in just for speed. Then this can go into here. Okay, so then we can get this Okay, then we'll get um, this, put it on those two sort of notches, push it back down, and lock it in, get the SATA cable, push that back in, put in the SATA power. we go, get the CD drive, drop that back in, SATA power, a SATA um, CD-ROM SATA cable, and the power is down here, put that back in, grab the lid, plug it in and turn it back on. And that is all there is to it really. Um, the machine will be so much faster after the SSD upgrade, it's definitely worth doing.